Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. This is uh, Let's Build, uh, the uh, stagecoach from Suisha Position. I can't say it. They, they're going to have to come up with a better name for me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sarissa Precision. Thank you. Uh, I give up. Sarissa. Yeah, what it says there, Sarissa Precision. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have a look at this. If you've not seen any of our others, it's like a little thin piece of wood and it's all cut out for you. So this is in just a little bag actually. All the others have been in like shrink wrap, haven't they? Yeah, this is also so small. Mm, probably. Try and get in it as best I can. So. Oh, bits come out already. So, got that there. There's our instructions. That's the instructions. We've got some inserts, I think. I would assume okay. that is. That's it. So that's part of it already. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is what we this get. This looks interesting. So it's like got double sided uh, instructions. Mm. So we'll have a look at that and we shall build this. Mm -hmm. So let's first take everything off these sort of wooden sprues if you like and then we'll, uh, we'll make a start. Okay so here we are, all the components, quite a lot for such a small kit. Um, we've got these uh, little cardboard parts as well as the wooden parts. What are they for? I think they make up the, the front seat or the, the front part and the back part I think. We'll get okay. to them as we go along, that's what it looks like anyway. It seems to make up this section here. And then the back section though. But I'll have a better idea once we get started. So we're going to start with the axles at the bottom. So we need the four wheels, the two large back wheels and the two small front wheels. We also need this little piece there and this little piece there and this bit there as well. So we have the axle section here. The large axles go on the wider one. Sorry, the large wheels go on the wider axle at the back, like that. And then we have this front bit. And they go on here. Is that not going there somehow? Or do they go on to that? I think they go on to ah, that. They, don't. they go on to this. So the wheels will actually go on to this bit. And then we have this section here which is connected via this little bit and this little bit so that looks like it goes underneath that looks like it goes in there so we have that on there, that on there and then we have that bit which goes on the top so it'll turn by the looks of it so let's put this assembly together and make sure it all goes in the right place. Okay, so there is the axles together. I actually glued that bit on just for strength, but you could leave it so it's unglued so it could turn if you wanted. Um, but I'm quite happy with it just being straight like that. Okay, so the next thing to do is actually put the carriage together. So these are the sides of the carriage. That's one side, that's the other side. I don't think there's any difference between them. They look exactly the same, apart from where the door handles are. And the handle seems to go to the front, I believe. So that will be the right hand side, that will be the left hand side, if that's correct. Mm -hmm. Let me just check the drawing. Yep, that's correct. So that this is the left. So they're going to go like that. And then we have the end of the carriage, that's one end. That's the other end. I think they are identical. I don't think there's any extra detailing on any of them. So that's the back and the front. And then the inside of the car is made up from these two steps here. Uh, one of which appear to fix onto there, like that. And then that seems to fix onto there, like that. And then we have this other one which fits onto the bottom part there. You can see that. 
and then we also I'm gonna to have to put the roof on at the same time which seems to go into the by the looks of it no all right those bits go to the back and it's gonna it just sits on top because those bits are taken up by the front and the back so that's just gonna sit on top of the like that so let's get this uh, whole bit together and we can show you what it looks like then okay so there is the assembly of that part if you wanted to paint any of the inside or anything with the inside you have to leave the roof part off I'm not too bothered about that in this case because it's quite small can't really fit anything in there anyway for Malifaux anyway so this is just going to go straight on and get glued on to the roof and then we shall be back with you. So for the next part we're going to do the driver's seat. So for that we need this piece of wood. And we're also going to need the pieces of card. We're going to need that one. We're going to need the opposite side. That one. Then we're going to need this. And we're also going to need this. So for this assembly we have the seat which goes that way around. One of these will go on one side one on the other. In between them also goes the piece of card which will slot into there and the other piece of card slots onto the front and goes onto that bit there. So that's the step that you stood on. That's like the seat that you sat on and that's just the bit that's attached to the coach underneath. So we're going to put that bit together and then I'll be back with you. Okay, So there is the front assembly. So next we'll do the rear assembly, which is basically where the luggage and stuff goes. And that just consists of these two parts. And then this. So that will go on like that. And these go on like that, it appears anyway. So we're going to put that bit together and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so there's the rear assembly. As you can see there's a little flap there on that side. Same with the front assembly, there's this little flap there. They go into these holes at the front and the back. So I'm going to stick them on now and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so there's the front and the back on. I actually have to trim that piece of wood down a little bit to make it fit on properly because the wood was too far back. I don't know whether they've just put the uh, holes for the wood just slightly in the wrong place or what but it was stopping the whole thing from going in so the easy solution was just to take a little bit of wood off the and now it's gone on so put a little bit of extra glue on that just to hold it in place and we'll wait for that to dry fully but we can, actually we can go ahead with the top assembly because it's pretty straightforward and that's the last of it then so it's just a case of putting these parts on the top so it's just like the luggage rack and then one on that side and one on the other side and then we have these four little uh, pieces there which will go on to the axles there into those two holes there and to the two half holes in the front so we'll put those bits together and that should finish off the stagecoach and there it is it's still drying a little bit but there's the stagecoach I think that's very cool there's a lot gone into that. Yeah. Let's bring the camera down and then we take a little bit of a better look at it. There we go. Like you said, there's a lot gone into that. In addition, the cardboard does make it a bit more detailed because it's a lot thinner than the wood. And you won't be able to do that otherwise. I'm quite impressed by how they've put that together. Mm. Like I said the only small thing was that the fact that platform didn't quite fit. Either the, the holes for it are too far back or the wood's just too large. But. Uh, I think it might be the fact it's too far back because you've got a little gap there, if you see. Which, if it was a bit further forward, there wouldn't be a gap. But that doesn't matter because you'd probably get that on the stagecoach anyway, the gap. I'm not bothered about that. But um, there's Padita next to it, so you get a scale sort of thing. Padita, star of our uh, scenery shows <laughs> for scaling purposes. And there we go. Just lapped out of the stagecoach and he's going to shoot some. 
Got in from the Windy City. Yeah. So they make a very good objective uh, for like stagecoach missions where you're mm. trying to set stagecoach, trying to score one. They make just a piece of very cool looking scenery otherwise. Mm. If we can get some old like uh, Warhammer horses or something to scale at the front, we can have it so it's actually being drawn. That would be yeah. pretty cool. That would be pretty funky. Find some, I'll find some appropriate horses. That would be very cool. But there we go. So I'm still going to give that a 5 out of 5, even though there's this small flaw at the front. I still like it. Mm, I think, it's, I think it's very well detailed. It surprised me that. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be quite so uh, intricate. Fiddly. Yeah, fiddly is no <laughs> word for it. But uh, yeah, it's gone together relatively easily. I've managed to work it out uh, from the instructions as well. But there we go. Mm. What do you think? I thought it was really cool, actually. Like I said, there's a lot of thought gone into that as to how you put it all together in that. So, yeah, we really like it. Cool. Mm. Great. So, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help us out loads, and uh, hopefully, we'll do be doing some more uh, terrain mm -hmm. uh, videos soon. And hopefully I'll be able to say Swish the Precision. Well, you can't yet. I can't no. yet, so I'll, I'll keep that, that intro was about the fifth take as well. <laughs> it was. Bear in mind, <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> that was the best I could come out yeah. with. Okay. So, from us, and hopefully from Sarissa Precision, uh, we shall see you again soon. <laughs> <laughs> Take Thanks care, for guys. watching. Bye. Bye. Mm.